All right, welcome back everyone. You're watching the Rhythmics RCL3. In our final series of the day, we have Verdi up against La Cifron. La Cifron is up by one game. Uh, he won the, on the first map, which was an Islands map. And uh, this match is very important. This is the best of five. And the winner of this match will advance on to the top 16 of these tournaments. Uh, our second map is going to be GSL Metropolis. And the middle left, playing from Russia. We have VP BenQ Verde and the top center of the map playing from Spain we have Durant Lucifron and wow. uh, well Lucifron has been going command center first in every matchup on every map pretty much so I wouldn't be surprised if we see him do this again on this map oh actually well, let's see Verde uh, he went for the Robo plus target on the first map. That does not tell me much about his style versus Terran since this was an Islands map. Uh, I have actually no idea how he usually plays, but he seemed to be playing pretty smart. Uh, he did not build up his economy as well as I would have liked him in the previous game. Uh, but I mean, yeah, the map being so strange, uh, this might have affected him a lot. Uh, I don't know of any protos who usually He's bad at making probes versus Terran. I mean, if you go for a macro game, you go for a macro game. Mm -hmm. My uh, predictions, I don't know. Like, uh, why would you pick this map? I feel like this map is uh, is a Terran favorite. Um, so maybe he's going to want to pull a one base all in and trick Lucifer. Or maybe he just wants to play a macro game and yeah, maybe uh, he likes big storm. Macro games. What? Maybe he likes big macro games. And yeah, we, had a, yeah, we had a guess first made here by Lucifer. But this map is so huge, I feel like if you open Colossus, you really leave yourself vulnerable. So maybe Verdi is a Templar guy. So it's going to be interesting to see. Well, you remember what you told me when you see a gas first, what you think about? Yeah, uh, Marine uh, Midivac with uh, Alien at the front. Yes, which would be very good on this map, I think. So mm -hmm. we'll see what Lassifron chooses to do. Verdi is going to go for the second gas here. He's keeping the Zealots so far. And, uh, well, he's not going to get a Zealot altogether here, I think. He's getting a Force Chrono Boost on his Nexus. So we are not going to see any kind of Wargate rush here. Uh, he's just going to build up his economy. I think he wants to saturate this second gas as soon as possible. Since he plays Stargate in the last game, this might be a Stargate again. Since this is close air. And uh, you can expect your opponent to drop a whole bunch. Sometimes to go for Starport play as well. And uh, Stargate is just going to be so good against this. Yeah, and uh, Star Stargate is also good versus a one 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 where you get to snipe the Banshee. Although we haven't seen one 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 in quite a while, there's also the possibility of him going for blink with an Ops, uh, because this map you can go at the at behind the middle line with the Stalkers. You can go at the ramp. You can snipe uh, quite easily the wall off of the depots. So uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, he goes for Twilight. So I guess I was right. Yeah. Blink, Yay. blink plus ops, you think? Yeah, I think so. So that will mean he's gonna stay on one base for a long time, and so is Lassifron. Uh, I guess we could see a command center after his stop or this finished, but uh, so far he seems to want to get a bunch of Hellions. He's already got two. He's gonna take the control of the Zenaga Watchtower, and uh, I'm not sure whether oh, actually no, he's going around. I'm not sure if he wants to get into the base. Okay, I think yeah, he wants to drop, so he's already getting in position. Uh, he's getting a medivac, and he's going to do this drop very, very early on here. Wargate is not even going to be finished. This is going to come so fast. Just because yeah. of those positions and being close air, usually this hits us like, I mean, seven minutes on some maps. But now this is going to be more like six, maybe even before that. Hey, why is he sending the aliens up front? Oh, he's going to go for three aliens at the front and three aliens. Oh, drop. wow. Okay. So this is going to be crazy. Yeah, this is going to be insane. Uh, he might follow this up. Okay, he gets the tech lab for his factory. He might follow this up with marine tank medivac. And if he does get at least 10 probes here, this would be very good for Lassifron, who's already on 20 SCV to the 26 probes of his opponent. He has to kill at least 10, I would say, for this to be worth it. Uh, he might get even more. Oh, the one stalker was able wow. to block those Hellions for some time. But no, they do get in the main. There's only two stalkers. Three stalkers now defending against the six Hellions. And uh, Verdi is going to lose everything here. He's losing so many pros right now. Already 11 killed, 15, 
Well, forget about my ten. Those helms are all slowly dying. There is only one of them left. And, uh, well, Lossy from lands it for some time, but he's not going to be able to get any extra kill. And, well, 15. He got those 15 kills so fast, I actually thought he was going to be able to get even more than that. But he, he just gets 15. And uh, right now, Verdi in a world of trouble. He, his economy is so low. He's not e he doesn't even have the basic 15, uh, 16 at his minerals. That means even his gas mining is going to be so low. The Hellion coming back, trying to get a couple more kills here. Not going to be able to. The Medivax is going to try to fly away and barely save the Hellion. Ooh, seven hit points wow. from dying here. And uh, he can actually repair those and do a big marine tank push later on with Medivax and basically just kill his opponent. But Verdi is going to be the one aggressing here. He knows he's way behind. He's actually not remaking that many probes. He's, he started making them slowly. Now he started chrono boosting some. He only has five stalkers. That's like nothing, man. Rusty from yeah, overreacting a bit here. Getting yeah, a bunch of bunkers. That was really an amazing build by uh, Lucifer. Really, I, I I've never seen that quick of a alien push before. I mean, it was it was almost well defended by uh, by Verdi, and now Lucifer in such a good position to defend with siege and two tanks. Uh, the only thing Verdi can do here is pick off the depots and try to pick a unit here and there. But with uh, seven stalkers, it's going to be really hard for eight stalkers. And uh, yeah, Lucifer is being very cautious about this, not rushing in with his tanks, leapfrogging very well, so that if uh, Verdi was to blink up, two of those tanks would be attacking. And uh, yeah, Verdi is not being very careful here, taking a lot of extra damage on the stalkers. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Dark Shrine here, especially since he already has his Robo. And uh, well, okay, I think Lucifer might be anticipating this, and right now he's getting a Tech Lab on his starports, and uh, he's going to be getting a Raven most likely. Maybe anticipating those DTs. I don't think he's going to go for the Banshee against those Blink Stalkers plus Observer. And uh, well, Verdi is going for the Robotics Bay. Lusty from scans immediately. So I will, like, I mean, if I was Verdi here, I would cancel and make uh, a Dark Shrine. Just because if your opponent knows that you're going for Colossus, this seems so much worse. But uh, well, you see, Lusty from has already swapped his starport here and uh, he's gotten a reactor for it. So. Uh, he actually made the tech lab for the barracks earlier, yeah. so I'm not sure whether he was planning to get a raven or not, but he's going to be able to start Viking production even before the first Colossus starts, which is huge. It's very, very, very good for him. I mean, but I would have liked uh, Lucifron to get a raven just for the PDD, you know, Birdie is so stalker heavy that the PDD would have paid off like so good yeah. for when uh, Lucifron decided to attack, but he just wanted to get a stem quickly and start making marauders, which are equally as good, you know, versus stalkers. So. Yeah, because he was already safe against Colossus, he has siege tanks, he already has three of them, so you don't need to rush for those Vikings uh, as much, especially since the tech of Verdi was like very late. And uh, he doesn't have a great economy either. And Verdi is going to add another robotics facility here. Uh, okay. Wow. I'm not sure what to say about this. Uh, I think he might just want to pump out a lot of Colossus, maybe four or five, and then hit a big timing here. It used oh. to be a thing, really, okay. uh, a year ago, to go double Robo Colossus versus Terran. Yeah. But then Terran started to be really aggressive and <laughs> Protoss just died, so... Okay, I just thought about something different. I thought that maybe he was thinking his opponent was going mech. I can switch two Robo is really good because you get a lot of Immortals and Colossus and then you move around a lot. Uh, mech army is very immobile usually, but uh, that's not it because he saw the two barracks and he saw the tech lab upgrading something in one of those barracks. So he knows this is not mech. Yeah. So yeah, I really don't understand what exactly he's planning for here. Maybe you think his only option is to make like five uh, Colossus and to kill Bio before all his Colossus die, you know? Well, we'll have to see, I guess. Lusty front right now, he just got combat shields, he's upgrading concussive shells, and uh, he's actually going to make a lot of molders because he's on two tech lad barracks, one reactor one, and uh, he might hit a big timing here knowing is ahead and uh, this might be what Verdi is anticipating a big two base timing maybe he knows that his opponent think he's ahead and he wants to be hit this two base timing so he wants to get a lot as many Colossus as possible and uh, just get a very good fight basically 
have I too many courses for his opponent to have enough Vikings to deal with and then uh, repel the big attack and be ahead. Lucifron just uh, sacked an SCV and saw the second Robo. I don't know if that's what tipped him off to start moving out and attack the uh, Terran or attack the Verdi, but yeah, we'll see if Verdi can uh, live this off or not with four Colossus right now and a lot of Stalkers. Yeah, Lucifron is really trying to get those tanks being involved in the fights, but uh, this is the hard part about this. He has to move very slowly. Those Stalkers are still up the ramp, actually. Uh, Verdi planning some cute move here, maybe with those. He's gonna be up to six Colossus very soon. He has to get a, a couple of Zelos to tank here. Having only, okay, as I say that he warps some, that's very good. Having only Stalkers would not be good against this. And Lucifron is gonna set up a content, content down the ramp of Verdi. I think Verdi is just seconds away from engaging here. And uh, yeah, he engaged immediately here. He should blink a couple of the stalkers in to get, I mean, get some extra shots from those tanks. So far, he's doing okay, but I think he's gonna lose a lot more. Those Vikings are destroying the Colossus completely right now. Uh, I'm not sure if he's gonna land. I think he's just gonna fly away as his opponent is still able to warp. He chooses to fly away. Oh, what is this? Oh, the SCV is coming in, the, la the Vikings landing, there's a lot of damage output right now for Lucifron, but uh, only with five Vikings he decides to back off for a little bit. I really wish Verdi would have chased him, yeah, and then Verdi tries to chase him, try to track down the Vikings. Uh, yeah. The SCVs are late to the party in this game. Uh, they came mm -hmm. as the fight I already handed, Verdi trying to blink micro against those units in the middle of the map here. And uh, Lucifron is going to retreat until being rejoined by those bio units and I think we might have another wave of attack here whereas uh, Verdi he wants to start upgrading his army he switched into full immortal mode here he knows that making more colossus will be useless since there is so many vikings from his opponent so he's just gonna get a bunch of immortals he really needs to start warping a couple of sentries and zealots to be able to have a quad and chin and hold here but last front he's going for it right now he scans he sees his opponent's army he sees his thoughts that it's not that big he has 64 army supply plus about um, 20 SCVs here. So 20 SCVs plus 20 extra army supply from Lucifron. He's looking to finish this game here. He uses Steam. He has already landed all of his Vikings. Lucifron doing a very good job here. He has a lot of medivacs healing his army. And uh, Verdi is losing everything right now. I just don't see how he could, blue. He could uh, hold this attack. GG calls Verdi. 2-0 for Lucifron here. I really like what Verdi did, you know, he was desperate, he lost a lot of probe, he went double robo and it almost worked for him. Uh, maybe a bit, a bit better execution and he might have been able to uh, pull it off, you know, chasing the Vikings and all, with the stalkers and do better there. But it was really interesting, you know, if you're down that much, you're desperate already, so why not be greedy and go double robo and try to uh, make it back that way. So I really like what Verdi did. Of course, he could have played better a little bit at the beginning and not lose that many probes, but you, you can always play perfect. So, uh, don't go anywhere, we'll be back with game three of Lucifron versus Verdi.